Hey guys and girls, whoa, whoa, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. Well, it's kind of cold today, but that's a perfect day to make an SFML video and just sit at home and be lazy. So I thought I'd uh, make a little game today. A little simple spaceship shooter with some text as UI and some textures and everything, just everything in one, right? Now, uh, to get started, include math.h and cstdlib. And then I have this these comments here for our ease of ease of uh, programming. So we'll have these for our rotation and stuff. Mm, let's see. Uh, then we're just gonna do srand uh, srand time null for our random stuff. And get your usual frame rate stuff ready and window and everything. Just fix all this. Copy paste all this. Kinda. We're going to draw stuff and we're going to update stuff. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my textures file. So, go ahead and go into Google and find a texture for your ship, a texture for your enemy, and a missile texture. Or, or any type of bullet texture, whatever. Anything you see fit. And, uh, and you're going to have to customize it on your own, right? So that's going to be good. Fonts, we're not going to use this one. Uh, you, you can find any font you want, something kind of clean or whatever you like. I'm going to go into my old project, old game I made, and I'm going to go into where I had my font, font, fonts, fonts, and I'm just going to get something that looks cool. This looks cool. I'm going to take this, copy that, and go back to here we go my fonts folder and we'll remove well I don't want to remove that actually I'll keep that because we use it in another example but uh dosis light all right I'm just gonna make sure I install that yep that's installed I'm gonna copy the name copy the name I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna get started so let's start off by initializing our font all right so let's do font font well we'll do that after the window is created actually here uh, init text font font uh, font dot load from file and let's say fonts fonts forward slash and the name then it's going to load our fonts and we're good for that we're good now what are we going to do i was thinking we'll have two classes we'll have a class player and we will have a class enemy all right and we'll have a class bullet okay so that I was thinking that's what we're gonna do and uh, that should be good whoops uh, don't do that boom now public and our let's just keep everything it's not standard practice to do this and when you program I'd recommend you do it with private and public and you do accessors and getters and stuff but uh, for this case because we want to do this kind of quickly and we want to just have everything easy we're gonna do everything in public and people are gonna people might hate me for that but uh, I don't care <laughs> I don't really care uh, we're gonna have int HP then int HP max we're gonna have that going for us then we're gonna have a player constructor we have a player player destructor for some for any reason um, our constructor is gonna do this our destructor is not gonna do anything uh, our constructor is gonna do this this HP equals this HP max and then above here we're gonna do this HP max equals I guess we'll have we'll have 10 HP 
and we'll be able to get the HP easily. Player is also going to have a shape, so a sprite shape, and we're going to load in textures for player and everything. I usually like loading in my textures in game, so you can reuse this, so we don't have a, a texture all the time. So I'm going to texture pointer texture and we're going to in player in the in the constructor we're just going to make a texture pointer texture equals uh, well you can't create a player without a texture so let's just do that texture and texture pointer then we're going to do this texture equals texture and then this shape dot set texture texture and get the address to no dereference it sorry dereference it boom so we'll set the texture with whatever texture we send in here and in game we're gonna do init textures so we're gonna load all the textures in Let's make a texture player text um, text player text dot load from file and then we're gonna go into our folder here and we're gonna see we have textures and then all our textures so textures forward slash and we have a ship dot png ship dot png and then texture we'll just copy paste this texture enemy text and we'll just call it enemy I think it was called enemy and then bullet texture and I think it was missile text zero one or something missile text zero one or something like that boom okay so missile texture zero one we're good and actually we won't need this because we're not going to be shooting in 360 degrees we're going to be shooting in just to the side to the right so we're going to be good but still we'll keep this here for memory reasons so we got all textures in player can be loaded in with a texture so why don't we just start by trying that out let's start by making a player in it so player player we're gonna load it with player texture uh, and send in the address to player texture because we want a pointer in there and that's pretty good it's pretty good now let's do window dot draw player dot shape and let's see if this works okay we got missile Oh, whoops, my bad, my bad, my bad. Now that was pretty huge, so we're gonna have to switch up some stuff. And uh, that's just about customizing, so it's really big. So we have to, we're have we gonna have to make it really small, and at the same time rota rotate it 180 degrees. So, go into your player constructor. And it depends on which sprite you download. This is the one I have. So if you want to make it perfect, you go ahead and do that. Uh, let's say this shape dot set scale and set scale is uh, let's say set scale set scale. How much do we want? Zero point one. Zero point one. That's gonna be really small. That's pretty good actually, it's not too bad. That's pretty good. 0.1 F actually F, there we go. And this shape dot set set rotation. Um let's say 180 degrees. 
see maybe that works now it rotates around the axis so then we're gonna have to do this shape dot set origin zero zero I think that's how it works if not we're gonna have to see what we're gonna do I'm gonna see if that works nope hmm let's see what if we do minus how big can that be a hundred minus a hundred let me see if this works nope well set the rotation and then I'm gonna do this set position zero zero then I'm gonna see if shape that set position zero zero let's see if the actual no that's kind of weird well you know what we're gonna do guys and girls this is annoying so I'm not gonna do that what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into my go into my chrome thingy and I'm gonna cut this out I think all right guys and girls so I'm back thanks for waiting uh, what I did was I, I kind of rotated my enemy this way to the left I made two different missiles one to the one to the uh, one to the left and one to the right and I made a ship my ship PNG I, I rotated to the right so uh, I just flipped it so now it's good now when I run this my position is correct everything's correct one problem you get when you rotate stuff is that the origin is always in the top left so when you rotate the, uh, the object it's going to be rotated to the kind of to the to the top in the top left so you rotate it 180 degrees it's going to look really weird so it's going to be in the bottom left so or bottom right sorry so the origin is now in the bottom right so you have to set it back to where it should be in the top left and then move the object down again that's how you rotate and I'm pretty sure about that I have to that's why I didn't do it now because I have to go and check it out see really how you do it uh, but still here we go we have a shape and we have a texture and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a vector so yeah you want to include vectors as well include vector and we're gonna make a vector uh, actually take bullet and put it up here bullet and here vector bullets 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 okay or oh, bullet bullets okay there we go vector uh, why is this not a template what are you calling what are you talking about oh std sorry about that std vector okay so we have a bullets thingy now when we play we're gonna be able to shoot I think we'll handle all the shooting and stuff outside of the class and that should be good that should be good and which you shouldn't do actually should handle it in here but still 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 okay so bullet we're gonna make a texture we're gonna make a sprite sprite bullet and we're gonna make a bullet bullet and then texture texture so just a pointer to the texture and then a bullet destructor bullet destructor it's not gonna do anything just like that and yeah so we or shape call it shape that's good and when we create our bullet we're gonna set this shape dot set texture texture boom and the reference that 
that's about it. Now we'll we'll change some stuff in here. We'll change the size of it and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, actually, the shape dot set scale zero point. I know it's gonna be pretty big, so zero point three f zero point three f. Let's start with that. Now we're gonna make a thing here for bullets. So bullets, we're gonna make bullets when we shoot. Uh, 